great book uh, from Better and Truth. It's uh, Joseph Tracy, The Great Awakening. And I know that's that's backwards there for you. But anyway, Joseph Tracy, The Great Awakening, Banner of Truth books. Joseph Tracy wrote this book in 1842, so about 100 years after the, the Great Awakening. And one of the things that he brings out that I wanted to share today is that the Great Awakening, in many respects, was a revival among young people. If you think about George Whitfield, even, he was only 23 when he first came over uh, to the colonies. But the application I wanted to make today is, do we have real hope of revival in our churches today, in the young people, in the teenagers? Some of those during the Great Awakening affected by the outpouring of the Spirit uh, were 8, 10, 12, 14 years old. So I wonder today, is there the possibility for revival in our churches among the young people? Well, I'll start out by saying, yes, God is, is sovereign. But I also want to caution many churches today in their understanding of youth ministry and children's ministry. That is, we've become so entertainment driven in our culture today that this is how we approach youth ministry and children's ministry. We we think about games. We think about uh, throwing Cheetos at each other. We think about who can drink the Coke the fastest. And maybe if, if we have time left over, there'll be five, ten minutes of teaching. Or others, you may spend more time in teaching. You may spend 30, 45 minutes in teaching. You may spend a lot of time in singing. But the shallowness of the teaching and the singing in so many places today is really reprehensible. This is not what sparked the revival in the Great Awakening. What sparked the revival in the Great Awakening was strong doctrinal preaching, even catechism, preaching and teaching, even young people about the doctrines of regeneration, the doctrine of the sovereignty of God, the doctrine of election, the doctrine of justification by faith alone. These strong, weighty, meaty doctrine uh, doctrines that we ha- that we have from the scriptures this was taught and God used it in some of the cases in the great awakening they talk about how uh, the young people repented of their of their frivolous nightlife and and things like that and their thoughts and they were they were they were convinced by the spirit of God that there was something of eternal value worth living for and we're not teaching that in many churches today we're teaching a shallow form of, of, of moral therapeutic deism in our churches to our young people. We've forgotten what catechism is. We don't, we don't do this with our children. We don't, we don't teach them big words like propitiation. Our, our youth are, are driven by entertainment. And we're afraid if we don't do entertaining things that we won't reach that many youth. Friends, I want to encourage you today to lay those things aside. There is hope for this generation. There is hope for revival among young people in our churches today, but not separated from the truth of the Bible. Teach the truth. Think of the young generation enough to lay before them the eternal weighty truths of God's Word. I hope that's helpful. God bless.